Unbelievable. I mean, it was clear all night last night. And I don't mean, you know, for a couple of hours or till two o'clock in the morning. I'm talking all night. All night. Till dawn. Unbelievable. I mean, that hasn't happened for weeks. Oh, I'm so happy. Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Well, a few weeks ago, in fact, it's now months ago because it was back in September, I was talking to Ollie, who you all will know as his channel, it's Astro Soundscape. If there's the odd person who doesn't, there'll be a link in the description below. Now, Ollie is down here in the Southern Hemisphere, uh, along with me, but he's across the ditch in Australia, in Victoria. And uh, he said he was imaging the Bean Nebula, which is in the large Magellanic Cloud. Now, I think because his weather's pretty sketchy and mine's pretty sketchy, he suggested we do a collaboration, which I thought was a great idea because we haven't done one for a while. So he sent me a sub um, and I was able to match it perfectly because I've got the rotator on the Sky Watcher. And we went ahead and uh, collected over 40 hours of uh, integration time, uh, which was great to produce a nice image of the Bean Nebula and the surrounding nebulosity. We decided that we, obviously we'd combine the, the data together, but then we would process them separately. And uh, we've come up with two really good images, I think, and two very different interpretations of the data, which is always interesting to see how different astrophotographers uh, process things uh, individually. So look, we'll get into the video, and uh, the rest of the video, that is, and uh, I'll show you the two images at the very end. Anyway, yeah, mine's yeah. recording too, so I think we're all right. At least okay. we get two. Fingers crossed. Right, so we'll start again. Hi, Ollie, how's it going? Hey, Logan. <laughs> <laughs> how's New uh, Zealand? <laughs> uh, wet, raining. Is it raining Down right in. now? Uh, actually, the sun's just come out, so from about from now onwards, it's supposed to clear, and then it's supposed to be clear tonight. But I'll believe it when I see it. It kind of sounds like we're having similar weather because yeah. that's well, kind of just... what Geelong's like at the moment. Yeah, yeah we just get your. <laughs> that's all we get. It's just all your crap <laughs> comes across um, to us once you've finished with it. it all... So, the large Magellanic Cloud, the one of the only two targets that's available to us in the, at the moment, <laughs> in the evenings, if we don't want to do galaxies. Yeah, well, that's why I ended up, um, I kind of ended up on the bean because I was just searching around, I was just searching around a few targets and then it was like, I think I read something where it was saying the bean nebula is like the second brightest part after the tarantula. Yeah. So I was like, oh, that sounds promising, quick. <laughs> I was just reading some stuff, apparently. So it's talking here about the the um, the N eleven N eleven re yeah. region, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I've seen it as talked about as well. And I'm trying to work out. I'm trying to work out is the bean is that a part within the N eleven or is it separate? Well, it's just as well we know exactly what we were imaging. <laughs> just working this yeah. out now Should we, yeah i was actually thinking that i was thinking to myself oh like when i um said we're gonna zoom i was like oh crap i know it's a pretty picture but i don't really know anything about it. no <laughs> and like you say though sometimes it's hard working it out isn't it because even yeah. with wikipedia and stuff you're like so is it that bit or is it that bit? <laughs> yeah yes, this it's... could be a funny video at least we well, could call yeah. it something like two men that don't know <laughs> what <they're> photographing. <laughs> photographed something um yeah, but something nebula Okay, look, to spare you the uh, trouble of listening to us trying to work out all the various components of this uh, relatively complex area of nebulosity, I'll try and explain the various parts to you. So first off, we have NGC 1760, which is also known as N11 or the N11 uh, 
emission complex, which is actually a collection of emission nebulae, all sort of interconnected by filaments. And this is about a thousand light years across and uh, about 160,000 light years away within the large Magellanic Cloud. And in fact, it is the second largest star forming region, only surpassed by the Tarantula Nebula. Now, as far as the name the Bean Nebula is concerned, it's actually this area here, which is sort of a shaped like a kidney bean. It's NGC 1763. And although it appears to somewhat merge a little bit with other O3 areas in the background, I think in earlier images where um, this was more prominently seen, it, it sort of stood out by itself and was very much bean shaped. NGC 1761 is an open star cluster composed of about 50 massive hot young stars that are emitting intense ultraviolet radiation and they're sort of eroding a, a hole or a bubble if you like in the N11 complex. And over towards the top right hand corner we've got NGC 1783 which is a globular cluster. And here's just an image showing um, some of the other areas that have been given um, NGC catalogue numbers. Now I understand that the large Magellanic cloud has been studied extensively um, looking at the levels of deuterium present which is an isotope of hydrogen, sort of the most common isotope of hydrogen is just composed of a proton with an electron but deuterium um, has a neutron also present in the nucleus. And scientists believe that, the, that all the deuterium in the universe was formed in the first four minutes after the Big Bang and no further deuterium has been formed. In fact, it's been sort of broken down or either destroyed or incorporated into producing other molecules. And therefore, by measuring the deuterium abundance in today's universe, they've actually shown that the total amount of ordinary matter that we're most familiar with uh, in the universe is only about 5% of the critical density which then obviously leads on to the whole concept of the fact that there must be dark energy and dark matter etc making up the rest of the density of the universe. Alright well that pretty much wraps up the video. I hope you found it interesting. Um, I certainly found it quite interesting learning all about the measuring of the deuterium levels in the large Magellanic cloud to try and determine the density of the universe etc and I think sort of sometimes learning a bit of the science behind the areas of the night sky that we image brings a lot more meaning to our images. Um, before we get on to the final part where I'm going to show you our two quite different interpretations but I think really nice interpretations of the data, I just want to thank everybody who's been following the channel, watching the videos, you know, giving some likes and particularly commenting, it really helps the channel grow so thank you very much to everybody and uh, until the next video I wish you lots and lots of clear skies. Sometimes I be out of it, don't wanna see nobody But you come around my way, you change my mind Just like a firefly, oh babe, you light up my sky Cause Tonight, yeah, yeah. under the candlelight.